Hey friends, it's Lindsay here with just a quick video <laughs> to come in and show you guys two packages that I got from sponsors of our event. Now I did purchase this one. This is from Randa's Craft Corner. And this is a package that Saban from Saban's um, Cover Minders has sent me. And then I do have a little um, a finish that I was gonna show you guys just for a fun little video. I had a little bit of time and I thought, hey, <laughs> Well, I have a minute. So let's go ahead and look at Randa's package. Um, so of course I have this turned over so that you can't see my address. Um, but I did order some putty and I did order um, some cover minders. So let's pull these out. I'm excited to see these. <laughs> and you guys, I don't know what it is, but I just love like candy themed cover minders. I, yeah, I, I, I don't know why, <laughs> but I do. So it looks like I got some stickers and then I got some treats. James will love that. Um, so I have my receipt right here and then it looks like this is the putty. So it's nicely packaged and so let's see. I have got two different um, putties here, hazelnut cream and white Tahitian woods. I was curious about these two. So I am going to pull these out. Now she does include, it looks like instructions on how to load it. So that is awesome. Um, you have full instructions there. So let me go ahead and see. This is the white Tahitian woods, and I'll show you guys what it looks like when you pull it out. Ooh, I can already smell it. So here it is. Mmm, that does smell really nice, you guys. Mmm, <laughs> I really like that smell. So that is white Tahitian woods, and then. I have the hazelnut cream putty. I'm excited to try these out. I did around Halloween time, um, and I haven't tried the putty again since, but I definitely want to try during this event. So here we have the white hazelnut cream, and mm, that one smells yummy too. Mm. <laughs> so, um, okay, so awesome. I'm excited to try these out again and um i'll just show you guys though really quickly these cover minders so i did get a rainbow lollipop it's like i was saying guys i really do love i love the candy stuff <laughs> i have to be careful of these ones though because um my little ones think these are treats so i have to hide these away but there is a little uh, magnet on the back as a cover minder this one is a fun one in, this reminds me of like a candy corn or Halloween themed one. This is a citrus one. And the cover minder there. And then I got this popsicle, which I thought was fun for summer. <laughs> Just very cute, the backing right there. So that is what I got from Randa Shop right here. Now let's move on to um, Saban's cover minders. So she has the cutest cover minders. I'd say like they're fancy. She's got fancy cover minders. Here are the cover minders. I'll move this out of the way there. And oh, she's packaged that really nicely. Let's see, I've got the card. And then she sent over quite a few. So some of these can go towards a giveaway. So, um, inside the card, let's see. Oh, it says she's also running a 10% sale through August 31st. Um, and Oh, it looks like she sent me some witches for the witch event to show you guys. So, so it looks like she'll be sponsoring the festival of witches, witches too, which is so cool. Um, okay. So let's see. 
<laughs> okay, so she's telling me, you know what, I'm gonna save these for the Festival of Witches because she did nicely wrap those in <laughs> orange for me, which is, that was so thoughtful of you, Saban. So this, these blue ones are for the JVG along um, that I'm hosting with Crafting with Shay. And like, I mean, I've been talking about it, Rando as a sponsor. Um, and Saban is, oh, wow. Look at that octopus. Isn't that gorgeous? And he's green. Oh, so pretty. Here is the magnet on the back. Very sturdy magnet. So we've got an octopus. Oh my gosh, I love that one. I love the, I told you they're fancy. She does fancy cover miners. So I go check out her shop with that discount going. Oh, look, we have got a fairy ballerina right here. Ooh, isn't she pretty? I love that, the purple. She's got a little star hanging down and a larger magnet. Again, very sturdy and her, her legs dangle, which is really cool. And then, let's see, this one. Ooh, okay. So we have got a mermaid. So this is like, that's cute. Is this, It's almost like I would say clay or plastic, but very cute of a mermaid. Again, a very good, strong, sturdy magnet on there. So cute. <laughs> I love it. You, anybody that knows Shay knows she loves mermaids. And so it's like, even if it's a JBG along event, you know, you have to have mermaids somewhere. And then we have got, ooh, a dragon. Look at that lovely dragon. And it's green. I love it. Ooh, I just love those <laughs> green jewel toes. And then this very last one is, oh no, there's actually two. So this one, wow, is a gold mermaid. That's really pretty. Very beautiful. Can you guys see that? Wow. That one is gorgeous. Okay. I think this is the last one. Oh, and oh, this one is cool. Look, it is a red dragon. Ooh, so cool and pretty. Okay, well you guys, look, there we have the cover minders. I'll save these orange ones for the Festival of Witches. Definitely to be opened when that event starts because I love to do small shop hauls that are Halloween themed through the event just to share some shops with you guys. So um, that is my small haul. Now I'm gonna take you over to the poster view. So I recently unboxed this on my channel and I shared with you guys this was an Amazon exclusive. This is called Night Flight, and this is one of the Harry Potter releases. Again, this was an Amazon exclusive, and as far as I'm aware, it's no longer on Amazon. It sold out. Um, and so what I believe from what I've heard from Diamond Art Club um, in their responses to others, so I haven't actually talked to them directly, but that they would put, they'll put them back on the site if they have, when they have more stock come in. Um, but when they sold out is when they take them off of Amazon. And so this one has um, gone out of stock, <laughs> but I think it should be back. Isn't it cute? Look how shiny it is. Oh my goodness, I love it. And this one is a 38 by 33 centimeter or a 15 by 13 inch. So it's, it's you know, I would say um, similar to a 30 by 40 if you switch up the measurements. <laughs> Um, right there, but yeah, just a really fun. There's really good ABs in here. I had plenty of drills left over. Um, I felt like I had enough drills of every color. Um, I did make some changes. So while most of this, this white stuff was in the white AB, the spots over on this side were not in AB. Um, they were more this, um, this color right here that's around the moon. But I just like the sparkle. So I used the white ABs all throughout. And you definitely had enough to do that. And so I think it just looks so lovely. I mean, if you didn't even do that, though, just the Harry Potter with these sparkles is just really bright and shiny and catches your eye on it. 
The other AB was this moon um, that's really, really neat and pretty. Um, the other change was is that I actually didn't like the color that they had in the outline. So the outline was originally this color of Harry's hair, and I felt like it was very brown. I'll show you a picture real quick. Here's just an overview of there. If you can see his cloak is brown and that's what was going to be the outline. So I just experimented. I did the black outline on his head and I did it against Hermione's cloak and I definitely liked the 310 better. And so that's what I stuck with. So as you can kind of see, as I'm experimenting on here, I was, it's funny, I was kind of talking to Gary and I was like, what do you think? And he kind of agreed with me that we didn't like the brown. So I actually went and just grabbed some 310 spares and I switched the outline um, and their cloaks to 310. And then um, Harry's hair was going to be this color of the broom, but I just used the original outline color to do his hair and I liked it. I liked how it came out. <laughs> Um, I think that that looked a little bit closer to the original, um, but you know, like I said, I don't, they, when they chart these, they do it for a specific reason. So I don't know if the brown, you know, with the lighter hair, exactly what I just, I just like 310. I like the 310 drills, you know? So, um, I, and I like black outlines and things like that. So, um, I definitely had fun with it there. I did do a little bit of a remix with Harry's little side thing right here of his hair instead of just a straight line up. But other than that, you guys, I just did it as charted. Now these drills were beautiful. They fit so tightly together. Um, I didn't have gapping issues or anything like that. Um, they were gorgeous. There was a couple colors in the lighter blues that had quite a bit of holes in the top, but I never, like I, I didn't have, never, what's the word? Like I didn't ever feel like I didn't have enough. And so you expect to have some trash, but again, these are all of Diamond Art Club's newer, all 13 faceted drills and what a fun little project. So I thought I would just share that with you guys. Now I did this for the Harry Potter DP along, which is being hosted by Bella Art and Nicole. Um, I didn't officially enter like in it, but I did want to support their event and do a painting for it. So this is the one that I did. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you in another one. Bye.